is born walking. He has to develop the ability to walk. And if I would punish my children, punish my little baby uh, for not walking when it's only three months old, or especially only a day old, I command it to walk, and it doesn't walk, and I give it a, a, a good beating, well, I would be justified in being charged with child abuse and be put in the prison. Because I'm commanding the baby to do what it does not have the capacity to do. But if the baby is certainly by two years old and you know, refuses to get out of bed or refuses to, to walk and is still uh, uh, crawling around unless there's some medical problem, Yes, I'm going to give it a good spanking if it doesn't get up its feet and walk and begin to even learn, learn to do some, perhaps some simple chores. And that would be a responsible parent. So walked according to uh, the course of this world, according to the prince and the power of the air. You know, they would choose to walk with the devil. They reach the age of accountability, and instead of following the example of Christ, they follow the example of Lucifer who said, I will exalt myself to the throne of God. I will be like the Most High. He made a choice to rebel against God. Adam made a choice to eat of the forbidden fruit. He knew better. The Bible says in the New Testament that Adam sinned willfully. Eve was deceived. But Adam sinned willfully. Therefore, he is accountable. But he's not, I'm not accountable for his sin. And I'm not born with a sinful nature because of his sin. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Child isn't born coming out of the womb disobeying anybody. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. We choose to gratify, to make it our supreme choice to gratify the desires of the flesh unlawfully outside of their legitimate bounds, and that is sin. Instead of choosing to walk according to the Spirit, uh, walk according to God's moral law that we have the capacity to do. And we're by nature the children of wrath even as others. Now, when it says, by nature, the children of wrath, it doesn't say by birth. And just because we see nature doesn't necessarily mean it's something we're born with or something by birth. Yes, I believe every accountable human being, every person who's reached the age of accountability, has taken on a sin nature. Not something that he has been born with, but something that he has acquired. How has he acquired it? Through his habitual selfish choices. You see, our thoughts, this is human nature. Not a sinful nature, this is just human nature. Our thoughts become our actions. Sooner or later, you dwell upon something, and sooner or later, you're going to dwell on those thoughts. You're going to act on those thoughts that you're entertaining. Our thoughts become our actions. Our actions soon develop into habits. Our habits become our nature. You've heard the term, it becomes second nature to us. We begin to do it so often, it becomes the natural thing we do. Our, our nature becomes our character. And our character then determines our nature. Our, our character, excuse me, determines our destiny. Now this principle of human nature can be used to our advantage or can be used to our disadvantage. Bad thoughts develop into bad actions. Sinful actions, evil actions. Evil actions then uh, develop into bad habits, evil habits. Evil habits then become an evil, a sinful nature. And we have a, a, a decadent, depraved character. And then we'll have an evil destiny, which is hellfire and brimstone. But good thoughts, pure thoughts, entertaining spiritual things in our minds, 
develop into good actions. Good actions become good habits. And we have, and that which then becomes a good nature, a good character, and we have a good destiny, which is heaven. One other thing Mr. Allison said last night that I agree with. God judges us according to our hearts. According to our hearts. Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. We can have a pure heart. The heart is our inner state of, of uh, praiseworthiness or blameworthiness. Our heart is our purpose in life. And we are either living for God, to glorify God, that's our purpose, or we're living to glorify ourselves. We're living selfishly. The Christian is one who lives to glorify God. The sinner, by choice, glorifies himself. 